Hi, hi, Josh. Wow, Nomadland, beautiful, beautiful film. Um, you've captured the American landscape before in your last two films with director Chloe Zhao on Songs My Brothers Taught Me and The Rider. So with Nomadland, what did you want to do differently this time? What was the whole idea? Josh, I think you're muted. Sorry, I am muted. Sorry. Um, <laughs> this um, is the joys um, of, of virtual conversations, this, right? This is why I don't work in sound, Jazz. Um, but no, the, the, the approach to Nomadland was um, different in that we had uh, this actor at the heart of it this time. We had Francis McDormand, um, which that changed a lot, but it was also just building on the language that we'd kind of uh, already established, uh, Chloe and I. Um, so it was really reacting to the script yet again. Uh, Chloe's script was very, um, there's a tenderness to it that I wanted uh, the cinematography to kind of evoke, a uh, very kind of a fragile story uh, that I felt the images needed to sort of carry us forward with this, this woman on her journey. Um, so it was really building on what we'd done previously, really, and just adding new tools to that. Yeah. And the, the film, every frame could be a still painting. Like, what were some of your influences for Nomadland? Oh, man. Um, you know what's strange talking about these films is that it happened two years ago. So, like, your memory is... Uh, but for, for No Man Land, I, did, I looked at a lot of Hudson Valley River School paintings, um, Albert uh, Beardstad um, in particular. They have, they're in that classical romantic uh, vein of projections of sort of American manifest destiny. There's that ethereal glow on the horizon and sort of decay in the foreground, the fallen tree. And, there's always that that journey west, uh, which I wanted to evoke, but in a different kind of way. There's there's a melancholy to it. There's a sort of a lot of nomad lands really about uh, death and the acceptance of that. Um, so I wanted to evoke something of that in the lighting. I seem to remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I noticed, and we've never talked about this before in all the conversations we've had, that you're also credited yeah. as a production designer on the film. So. Being a cinematographer and production designer, like, talk about balancing out both those roles and what that entailed for you. I think, I think that also reflects the spirit of how Nomadland was made in general. I think there, there was possibly the blurring of, of sort of classical film roles across the board. Um, but in this case, I, Chloe and I, on the, on the rider, I kind of did the same thing. It's sort of going into real worlds and then curating what's already there and then with nomadland i just had a lot of ideas i was really excited about with in terms of vanguard uh phones van sort of another character in the movie i mean it really is and um i had visual ideas about it and it was really fun to work with uh francis mcdormand who came to our house uh i, I just parked the, the van outside and i was working on it every day and Fran came and she slept in the van and she had ideas about where everything should go. Uh, but that, that was the point. It was, it was really to build it around her, Fern's character. You know, it's an extent that when you live in a van on the road, it really becomes an extension of you. So it was, it was an absolute pleasure to, to get to help mold that part of the character. And, and, and then for that to tie into the cinematography, because the production designers on our panel know that there's no good cinematography without good production design. So um, uh, I've dug myself a hole now. But uh, anyway, <laughs> it was a pleasure to be able to do that as well, you know. So, yeah. I love that. Well, you know what, Josh, you've just given me the perfect segue to bring up our next, the, you know, to bring up Mac production designers and set decorator. So I will see you later on for the group panel conversation. And thank you so much.